How's it going everyone? This is Jay from TheBeerHeads.com here with another review for today. So without further ado, let's get into today's review. Now today's beer comes from the Left Hand Brewing Company out of Colorado. It is their 2009 Oak Aged Imperial Stout. That is a 75% malt beverage and a 25% malt beverage aged in oak brandy barrels. You can go on their website LeftHandBrewing.com to get some info. But I checked their website out and it doesn't give too much uh, info on this beer. Unfortunately, you can check the side of the bottle and get some great info. I'm going to read a couple of it, not all of it. Thanks for purchasing another offering in our Big Mo series. Russian Imperial Stout gained popularity as a British export style from the late 1700s through World War I. It catered to Russians, lavish and opulent taste, as well as suited the rewards of shipping across the Baltic Sea. And it goes on and on about it. <coughs> this is a 10.2% uh, Russian Imperial Stout. And uh, it's definitely going to be a one that I'm going to enjoy be drinking. And definitely going to be drinking slow. So uh, I just opened this a while ago. The camera messed up. So we're redoing it again. Uh, get about a one finger. I almost got a uh, two finger ahead. It is an off-white khaki, which still gets some dark brown hues at the bottom of the head. Um, it's definitely a dark, oilish color, but you're getting some red hues at the bottom of the glass. There's some carbonation in this. Um, not much. It's very minimal. So let's get into the smell. It smells like a double bock, so a duple bock, and it's getting that sweetness of roasted burnt sugar fruits in there as well something like uh, if you were to dry out dried prunes dried apricots you're getting that roasted dry fruit taste smell in this um, definitely some roasted char notes from the uh, malted uh, barleys and all that the roasted malts the chocolate ro uh, malts in there that they use definitely picking up that vanilla from the um, the oak age barrels, so that the abstract from the barrel, getting that vanilla in here, definitely picking that up. Definitely picking up that like licorice smell as well. That uh, um, almost like the stone smell from the Balgo Honest. Not too heavily in this, but if you really, really smell it, you're gonna pick a little bit of that up in here, and it's definitely a nice smelling beer and a good looking beer. So let's get into this one, you guys, and cheers. Like I said, double bock. Getting that duple bock taste in here. Getting that roast burnt sugar. You're getting those fruity, dried out fruit notes in there. But then it starts mixing into the palate where you pick up the roastedness from the, the, the roasted malts the chocolate dark malt in there you're picking that up on the front of the palate the middle of the palate you're picking up that oakness of a vanilla back of the palate the bitterness that smooth drinking it's not dry finished at all it's a mouthful is definitely definitely a full body beer definitely getting that nice little carbonation feel as well in there um, I'm 50 50 on the taste due to the fact that it has that double bock taste like the Samuel Adams um, double bock um, and almost reminds me of a Schmaltz Brewing Company's Human Blockhead. You're getting that nice taste out of it, but then it goes into the, uh, the stout format, and it's like having two beers in one almost, probably because it's aged so long. 2009, it's been two years aging, um, and uh, you're definitely getting all that in there. That's why it's so malty, and uh, you're definitely picking up the malt bomb out of this stout. Uh, from the ordinary, out of the ordinary, from a different stout. Um, it's definitely a, a drinkable beer, but at the same time, it's not. You're going to take one drink, you're going to say, wow, not feeling it, but then as you start picking up more on the palate, you're going to want to take another one, then you're not going to want to drink it again, and then you want to taste that, and it's a 50-50 beer for me. Out of a 10, I would have to give this a 6.5 out of a 10, making this a C beer, close to a C minus beer, um, but I'm definitely enjoying this, and then I'm not, 
if you understand what I'm trying to say. It's a 50-50 beer. It has a weird beginning taste, but the finishing taste is just good. and makes you want to drink it again. That's what I'm getting at. Other than that, it's been a great beer review. I just want to say thanks to Odeed on YouTube for uh, sending me this and the uh, Judgment Day Ale from Lost Abbey for doing the 40-ounce Malt Liquor Challenge. Um, so thank you, Odeed. Uh, if you, anyone out there would like to send me some uh, beer to review, just uh, hit me up at j at thebeerheads.com or go on the website www.thebeerheads.com. Go on my contact info and you can go get me on there. Till the next time, you guys, like I always say, it's the website. Go click us on our Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash the beerheads. Go add us on there. Get some stuff we don't add on YouTube or the website. Until the next time, guys, live, learn, and drink. See you guys later. I'm going to enjoy this.